San Diego's embattled mayor, Bob Filner, is being sued for sexual harassment. And now Filner's lawyer says taxpayers need to pay his legal bills. The reason, Filner did not receive adequate sexual harassment training. The reporter who broke this story says even more women could surface. John Blackstone is in Los Angeles. John, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail and Charlie. Well, the saga of San Diego's womanizing mayor is looking more and more like a soap opera. Just when you think it can't get any more outrageous, it does. But now it's starting to have real economic consequences for the city, and that is why former mayor Jerry Sanders is now speaking up. What's happened is business is coming to a standstill. Uh, city functions are coming to a standstill. For Jerry Sanders, yeah. former mayor and former police chief, all of San Diego has become a victim of Mayor Bob Filner's behavior. His style shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. I mean, he's been in politics in San Diego for 30 years. Style's always been pretty contentious. For 20 of those years, Filner represented San Diego in Congress. Even then, there were suspicions about his treatment of women. And there's been rumors about this for years and years. And when you talk to some of the, uh, the local politicians now, are the ones that were back in Congress with them. They say that's been Filner's track record, but certainly a lot of people have endorsed him who said we knew some of the stuff might have been going on. People were fearful of him. They feared retribution. Amitha Sharma is the public television reporter who broke the story after she spent four months talking to women who were reluctant to speak publicly about how Filner treated them. He was perceived as a very powerful person. He was also perceived as someone who would be vengeful. So people were very scared of him. You don't just hear that from the women who have alleged harassment. You hear that from powerful men in town, men who own businesses, men who are in, who hold office in San Diego. The silence was broken 10 days ago when Irene McCormick Jackson, Filner's former communications director, became the first woman to go public as a victim of Filner's advances. I was placed in the Filner headlock and moved around as a rag doll while he whispered sexual comments in my ear. We then, three days later on a single night, four moves. other women told their stories to Sharma on the local PBS station. He would come in and try and kiss me on the lips and I'd have to squirm to get away. And he ran his finger up my cheek like this and he whispered to me, do you have a man in your life? And he came up and gave me a hug and then he touched me, actually groped me on my backside inappropriately. In all now, eight women have come forward with accusations against Filner. Is this the tip of the iceberg? More women likely to come out? I think there are several more women likely to come out. Still, the mayor insists he's not resigning. I will be entering a behavior counseling clinic to undergo two weeks of intensive therapy to begin the process of addressing my behavior. He's digging in. Yeah, the mayor is completely hunkered down. He's buried the bunker under about 200 miles of uh, defense. He's not going to resign anytime soon. Professor of political science Carl Luna teaches at San Diego Mesa College. The mayor is not elected with a morals clause in his contract. Short of a resignation or a criminal indictment and conviction or a recall election, Bob Filner's here to stay, and this is what he's banking on. And now the mayor is blaming the city for failing to give him sexual harassment training. That's absolutely ridiculous. To blame everybody else for his inappropriate behavior for his criminal behavior, if some of it's true, uh, is, is just reprehensible. And the sexual misconduct allegations aren't the only problem for the mayor. Uh, there's also the matter of the trip to Paris that may have been improperly paid for. Yesterday, the mayor announced that he would pay for that himself. And then there are questions about the mayor's involvement in some big donations uh, from some big contractors in the city, big developers in the city. Uh, Gail and Charlie, 70% of San Diegans want Filner to resign, but he can only be removed from office uh, through a recall election. Thank you, John.